there might be two sharks inside this eggs. I'm talking twins. You can see the stripes on them. This guy is gonna be big. It is time, ladies and gents. Let's hatch this shark egg. There's our shark. There's our shark, guys. There's our shark. What is going on, my fellow fish guys and girls? Fish Guy Jack here, back with another video. Today is a big, huge, massive day for the channel. The time has come. Our shark egg is ready to be hatched. Today's video is literally gonna be all about the shark egg and maybe a little bit of an awesome feeding as well. Now, we got this shark egg a little bit ago, probably over a month ago, and we've been waiting for that yolk sac to shrink and officially, I think it is about gone. Now, what's super important to know about the shark egg is that once that yolk sac is gone, they officially have no more food left and they have to make their way out of the egg. Now, a lot of the times, the shark can have a tough time getting out of the egg. So what you have to do is you have to help it out by cutting it out. And that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I've got a handy dandy flashlight here. And believe it or not, this plays a key role in having a pet shark inside of an egg. Because if you take a look, you light that thing up and you can get a really, really good look at your shark. As you all can see, I scratched a lot of the algae off and now we can get a clear window at our shark. We can see he's got brown stripes, white stripes. Believe it or not, I'm low key kind of convinced that there might be two sharks inside this egg. I'm talking twins. Now I've been looking at this egg for quite a bit of time and I cannot find a yolk sac whatsoever. Let me flip this egg over the other side where I have another window. Let's light it up. And as you guys can see that right there, that big white part is its belly. That right there is not a yolk sac. That is confirmed its belly. Now, the number one thing you don't want to do is leave the shark trapped inside of the egg with no nutrition. That means it can't eat. And sure enough, if it can't eat and it's in there for a while and you don't hatch it yourself, the shark will die. So that's why it's super important to cut it out. So here's our shark here. And as you all can see, I scratched that window there because having the shark inside this container with this lid on top and the light constantly hitting it, it'll grow a lot of algae. But just for representation, this shark egg is about four to five inches, but I can guarantee you the shark's gonna come out a lot bigger than that because he's all coiled up inside there. Now I've hatched shark eggs before and let me tell you guys what, it is one of the coolest things that you can do in the aquarium hobby. Look at that guy all coiled up inside there, ready to rock and roll. Now we've got a few tools to make this happen. We got a white bin to add water in to add our shark egg. That way we can keep this thing submerged. We got a flashlight to make sure we locate the shark before we make a cut. Cause guess what? We don't want to cut this shark's head or tail off. We've got a bowl here to fill up the water so we can add it into the bin here to give our shark some water. And then we have some scissors to make that cut in the egg to let this guy escape. All right, first order of business. We're gonna set up shop. This is where we're gonna be hatching our egg. I've got my GoPro charging for this so I can hook it up to the side. That way I have both of my hands to work here because guess what? This is the closest thing that I'll ever do to surgery in my entire life. All right, let's remove the lid from the aquarium. Let's grab our bowl here and let's start filling up our white bin. Should not take very long. All right, there we go. All right, and one last one. There we go. So we got some room to work with here. Now you guys, let's get our shark egg. Here we go. Now it's super important. What you don't wanna do, guys, is you don't wanna expose the shark to air. So bear with me here. We're not gonna have a tank light, so, uh, cause we wanna do this the right way and get this guy out as smoothly and as quickly as possible. So dunk this inside there. That way we can get that in there. Okay, let's dump a little bit of water out. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna dump this over just so we can get the shark inside the bin, just like that. Perfect. Did not touch air whatsoever. And now we officially do not need this anymore. Okay, now that we got our shark egg inside the bin, let's bring it over to our little bucket, our little hatching station, if you will. Dump that guy in there. Perfect. There we go. Go. All right, now that we got him inside the bin, let's take a super close look there. Look at that guy. Drop a name down for low. Let's name this thing even before it hatches out. Look at that. You can see the stripes on him. This guy is gonna be big, guys. I think he's gonna be about six to seven inches. I wanna just double check, really make sure that there's no yolk left inside. Now, is it the absolute worst thing if we hatch it and there's a little bit of yolk left? Honestly, no. I've been to plenty of fish stores where they hatched out a little early and they all survived. Now, you guys, let's go ahead. Let's get that GoPro hooked up. 
Let's hatch this shark egg. It is time, ladies and gents. Let's hatch this shark egg. All right, we got the setup ready to go. We're ready to do some surgery here. We got the ring light. We got the GoPro. We got our shark egg. Most importantly, we got our scissors to make this happen, you guys. It is absolute go time. We're transferring you guys over to the GoPro now. So, here we go. All right, you guys, it is absolute go time here. Now, the number one thing we do not want to do is cut the shark's head off, okay? I think that's pretty obvious, pretty pretty self-explanatory so if we take a look at this shark egg here we have our shark right here inside of the middle now we want to go ahead and kind of move him just the slightest bit so here's his head right here on this side and we got the tail over here so what we're going to go ahead and do here is cut this end right there there we go okay okay perfect we've made a cut guys we made a cut on our egg Every time I do this, I get so nervous. Okay, so we just cut that piece off there. So now the shark should... Okay, there we go. Now we have a little opening here inside of our egg. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel that egg open, and he should come right out. There's our shark. There's our shark, guys. There's our shark. There's our shark. Holy crap. That is our shark. He's out. What a success. Holy cow. That is a shark right there. No yolk whatsoever. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we just did that. We have officially hatched our shark. We've been waiting so long for this moment. I'm talking months for this guy to hatch and it's officially happened. He has not even kicked his tail the slightest bit. As you all can see, there's no yolk sac whatsoever and I was clearly wrong. There's not twins. This guy is just absolutely way bigger than i thought he was gonna be i'd say he's seven to eight inches all day long guys that thing is ridiculous we just gave birth to a live shark literally we just hatched this thing out of that egg right there so this is where this shark was the whole entire time he was living inside of this egg and believe it or not the texture of this is very interesting very interesting, actually a lot easier to cut open than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, a lot of the times it's very difficult for these sharks to get out of the egg. And uh, that's why it was important to be patient, make sure that there's no yolk whatsoever left over. And now we have our shark here, there he goes, he's moving. He's swimming a little bit right there, guys. Holy cow. Now in all honesty, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was gonna be, but that thing is beautiful, looks extremely healthy, literally no yolk sac left whatsoever, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't even put into words how stoked I am that we just did that. That is just the coolest thing ever. Guys, if you have the tank space, if you have the experience and the knowledge in the aquarium hobby and you see a shark egg, I 10 out of 10 recommend. That is the coolest thing by far you can ever do. If you know somebody that would find this video insane, share this video with them. Tell them become a dang fish guy and subscribe to the channel, baby. I mean, we just did that. We just hatched this shark right there. This shark right here is eventually gonna be big enough to go inside of the tank with Spike, with our trigger fish, with Zeus, with Bolt. And we're gonna have the sickest predator tank on YouTube, mark my words. So we're gonna add the shark back into this aquarium where nobody should harm him. The only thing I'm worried about is possibly this wrasse right here. But guys, these guys eat crustaceans, they eat crabs, they eat shrimp. I've been trying to say that so many times. Crustaceans and shellfish. Those are about the only thing these guys will eat. So we're definitely gonna keep an eye on him, but he should be, he should do absolutely 10 out of 10 amazing in this aquarium. Now, obviously he was living inside that tank, so he's already acclimated, but just to be safe, I took a cup of water, I put it inside here, and I wanna let him sit inside this bucket for about 10 more minutes. Then we're putting him back in, guys. This is such an awesome video. It's go time, it's time to add our beautiful new baby shark into his aquarium. Get in there, get inside there. Perfect, we got him. We've got him here, y'all, let's go ahead. Bring him into his aquarium where he's gonna have tons of friends and grow nice and big. All right, buddy. Come on, swim out. Swim out, there you go. Bye-bye, buddy. Now, I know you guys might be thinking, Jack, you just added a shark with clownfish, with cardinals, with tangs, with a wrasse? What are you thinking? But, guys, this little guy is just a gentle little dude. This ain't a fierce, fierce, Fierce shark, but look at him. He's swimming around. The wrasse is checking him out. Everybody's looking at him. Look at this, guys. This is so cool. He's swimming. He's swimming for the very first time ever. Look at him swim. Holy cow. Oh, that's so cool, guys. That is so dang cool. Now, in a future video, you guys, 
we're gonna go ahead and feed him live baby shrimp. Maybe we'll have to go catch him, maybe we'll go buy him from the store, but we will definitely be feeding him shrimp. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now you guys, we just hatched a baby shark, but if you haven't checked out my last video, I think you guys all will really enjoy it, and I don't think YouTube sent out my notifications because the video didn't do as well as all my other ones, but we caught an insane trigger fish. I mean, look at that thing right there, you guys insane colors on them and we caught some other really big fish so if you want to go check that video out i'll have it linked down in my description be sure to go check it out but look where the shark's resting right now he made his way underneath the rock right there oh my god nobody is picking on him whatsoever actually let's go ahead and feed these fish all right i got a pinch of pellets going inside now we don't have to worry about dropping it on the cage because guess what the cage is gone and these guys are going ham i love watching the rats eat off the surface here we go we got the clownfish eating off the surface as well Look at how beautiful. We got our sailfin tang, we got our cardinals, we got our wrasse, and everybody's looking extremely happy, and of course, extremely healthy. Even these guys love the show. You know what, I did it purposely right in front of them for a reason. These guys are the star of the show, and guess what? I'm sure they enjoyed watching it. Look at Spike right there. That tank looks so beautiful right now. I love how crystal clear that water is. Oh. Check out that blue line back there. Now, everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. I told you all this video is going to be all about the shark egg. And sure enough, that's what it was. We've got our empty shark egg right here. We successfully hatched a shark egg. Let's take a look at this thing right here. This is where our shark was inside of for quite a bit of time. Look at that. Just a hole right there that we cut out ourselves. And now our shark is inside the aquarium. Super dang cool. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to head over to fishguide.shop. I'm rocking the Cut the Plastic Performance shirt. We're in the works of getting a whole restock done on a lot of stuff because we're pretty much sold out on all the sizes, but some of you guys might get lucky. Go check it out. We might have some stuff in stock that you like, but I can assure you everything's coming back very soon. Every single item we sell on fishguide.shop removes trash from the ocean. I love you all so much. You guys mean the absolute world to me and I mean that with my whole heart. I love you all so much. Catch you all in that next video. Peace out.